<laughs> and welcome back. Well, gardening isn't just for people with big backyards. If you have a smaller space, you could try a container garden or find a public garden space as well. Working in the garden can be very beneficial for people with disabilities, which is why a garden party is a perfect fundraiser for the Milwaukee Center for Independence. Yeah, we are here now with Tanya Mazor Posner, president of the MCFI Foundation, along with Melinda Myers, the go-to Midwest garden expert for everything green. Great to see Morning, you, ladies. ladies. Thank, Thank you for having here. us. Thanks for being here. This is really exciting. You brought some beautiful um, plants for us to look at, and I just started um, my container. I planted That's some things outside, okay. but I always think things in a container, you can move them around, or like I do a lot of herbs in containers. Yes, and so you can keep them convenient. You can move them if you have a party to make more room on the patio or deck. Bring them close to the back door so they're convenient when you're cooking. Or I planted a few butter, uh, hummingbird favorites. So oh, I love hummingbirds. I do too. So this coral nymph salvia is great for bringing the hummingbirds. And I like to put containers right by my living room window or my kitchen window so mm -hmm. I can watch them come up close and nectar. And look at that pot. It yes. has hummingbirds on it. I don't know if we can all, see it. Yeah. Look Sorry, at I don't that. know it's how heavy it is, Melinda. It's got hummingbirds on it. I love that. That is That's, so cool. Well, Thank they come you. even with just that little amount of that flower? You bet. The more you have, the better. Or add a hummingbird feeder nearby, mm -hmm. and it's a great way to bring them in and enjoy. And birds and butterflies, you know, we talk about gardening being therapeutic, which very. it very much is for everybody. But bringing the little motion and color really adds to the enjoyment for all of us. Yeah. Talk so a little cool. about, about the Milwaukee Center for Independence, what you do there, and how you've kind of teamed up with the gardening idea. So Milwaukee Center for Independence is um, an agency that is um, 76 years old and we serve people with um, various special needs to help them gain independence and self-sufficiency. We serve over 8,500 clients throughout the Southeast Wisconsin area and our services include our Children's Center, um, we have um, therapies, long-term care, behavioral health, nutrition services and employment services, so a vast array of services to help our clients gain independence and self-sufficiency. Do your clients start, do they usually come to you living in a group home or are they living with their family or on their own? Through many channels they reach us. So okay. um, some of them are um, coming to us through a referral. Some of us are um, coming to us um, through um, a, a, a recommendation. Mm -hmm. So many different channels for people to reach us. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. As part of the garden party, are guests going to actually be able to do something? So um, we're going to have a lot of fun things um, for our guests when they come. We're going to have some cooking demonstrations by Chef Daryl Anderson, who is one of our chefs at MCFI, and he's going to be um, using fresh um, garden ingredients um, that we grow at MCFI. Mm -hmm. And they're going to get some great gardening tips, obviously, from our gardening guru, <laughs> Melinda Myers. And we'll be giving, I'll do a demonstration of putting a container together, and some lucky person in the audience will ha be able to win it and take it home. That's great. Easier that to cool. care for than a rabbit. We all do. Oh, yeah. 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 Good <laughs> point. And they shed a lot less. That's too, true. Right? Yeah. But you could plant something for them to eat. That's true. <laughs> That'd be exactly. That'd be kind of funny. Um, we also have um, these beautiful oh, um, sun catchers that our clients oh. made. Um, along Those are neat. Yeah, Those they're are really beautiful. beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. And they also made these beautiful um, cement mushrooms that you can put out in your garden. So they're very that sturdy is, and they'll oh, stay cool. year round. It's really Is it neat. made out of concrete? Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's really cool. Look yeah. at that. And, that and that's really kind of neat. the hip that and trendy really thing neat. right now is to put garden art. Mushrooms are popular. And we were chatting that so many of them are ceramic and they don't hold up like the concrete mm -hmm, does. Mm -hmm. So you could put this out there. It'll stand up in the wind and last for years to give you lots of enjoyment. I love that. You showed us the uh, container that you have here with the to, to attract hummingbirds. Mm -hmm. What else did you bring as examples? Um, to the left of Tiffany, the big, tall, purple plant. That's a kale. Say, it's edible kale? and ornamental. And yeah. so I Try love it, Tiff. <laughs> I don't like that. That's true. <laughs> Maybe we should have given a leaf. Mm. So I love to mix edibles and ornamentals. In front is a fragrant colitis alyssum and okay. a nice fragrant flower, so it'll spill over. In the little pot in front, I right use some creeping rosemary. I knew that was rosemary. Okay. And I love to do containers, sometimes great. mixes of vegetables mm -hmm. and flowers and herbs. And sometimes you just have a really cool pot and you just want to show off both the plant and the container. 
And oh boy, oh, I can smell it. Oh, I, 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 I just, just rubbed wow. it. Yeah. yeah. And what's nice is if you're one of those gardeners that likes a challenge, you can bring it in for the winter. So if it's in a pot by itself, that container will fit in a nice sunny window or under an artificial light, and so it won't take uh, as much room as one in a bigger pot. Mm -hmm. That's really neat. People who register, um, how much? Uh, uh, the how uh, much does it cost for people? The registration fee is twenty dollars. And what does uh, that go towards? Um, it goes towards our horticulture therapy program, That's great. and um, Melinda knows a little bit about um, horticulture therapy because she told me earlier that she started off her career doing some horticulture therapy. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. That's really cool. Um, and it's rain or shine, so even if it's not a great day, there'll be some activities indoors, but if it's a great day, there'll be some beautiful activities um, in our outdoor garden. And um, and people are just going to have a wonderful time, wonderful treats that are going to be served. Mm -hmm. that yeah. is and the great. first 20 people who register as well will receive a complimentary autographed book from Melinda Myers. That's true. It's the book of your choice. So you get to choose which one that's going to be. Here's the phone number to call so you can register. Again, those first 20 people who call and register will receive that book. It's 414 Four three one seven four one five to attend the garden party or learn more. It's going on Tuesday the sixteenth from four to six p.m. MCFI Next Day Campus is where it's going to be located. It's right on Howell Street. The phone number again. I'm going to read it again for you. Same phone number four one four. 431-7415 is the number to call and register so that you can get the book or just learn more about the garden party and make sure that you attend from 4 to 6 that day. Thanks so much for being here, you guys. Thank you very Great much. To see you, ladies. Thank you, yeah. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.